Well, this is just a starting point, really. Probably won't use all these uh, spot mics. I mean, generally, I try and get a kit sound from just the overheads, really. I mean, an, an overall picture. So these are the ones I'll put up first and try and make sure the whole kit's balanced. Um, and then I'll, I'll put all the spots in after that and make sure they're in phase. And I record them, but whether we, we need them or not, I don't know, because the, the drum part is very minimal. Yeah. Um, Seems to have quite a few in the kick. Uh, yeah, there's, there's one inside uh, for a bit of attack. Um, and then I'll probably do an either or thing here. The, the, the NS10 cone is there for basically the sub harmonics. Everything below 100 hertz, it's really mm -hmm. And the part, well, I mean, there isn't a kick part remember, but I think maybe we should investigate introducing a pulse in the, there's an instrumental section in there, which might be nice. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm going to mic it up with that. And then the, the one in the middle of the silver one is a ribbon, which often is a cure or it, it just sounds great as it is. So it might be, it's just I record that one. It's a, a Shaw KSM 53 or 253, 353. It used to be, there's a, a company called Crowley and Trip that Shaw bought. Oh, yeah. And I, I got that about three years ago and it was, it was a, it's a mic you can use on everything. It just sounds amazing. But it can take real sort of um, SPL as well. So you can stick in front of a bass drum, bass cab, guitar cab on full, you know, and really loud vocals. And it doesn't break, it starts to break up on, on really loud vocals, but in a really good way, sort of distorts in a cool way. Okay. So um, it might be that we just use that if we get the drum part, uh, bass drum part. Uh, but I'm just putting them all up just in case. Yeah. Um, and the rest are just spots. Um, I've got two ambient mics here. Um, which I'll probably run through some compression just to, to bring the room up a bit. Um, and then sort of Neumann uh, condensers. They sound really lovely, it's one of the beautiful mics. Um, and then we'll, I'll probably get a plate going and then they've got some nice old valve EMT plates, which I'll send the close mics to and record that hopefully as well. So the, yeah, the multi-marking. It looks like a lot, but I guess, you know, for the toms, I, I always try and, and double mic toms because you get more depth to them. Um, and it's, it's quite, I mean, for the drum part that there is there, it's quite tom driven, isn't yeah, it? So, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, I always feel you can get a lot more, I, I, get, I guess, depth out of multi micing those. Um, and similarly with the snare as well, top and bottom. Um, so, yeah. Overheads mainly are the. For me, the key. If you can get you know a really good overall sound, feeding in your spots then just gives it more focus. Yeah. So that's cool. it. Okay, brilliant. Does that help? Yeah, definitely. <laughs>